Hi everyone, it's Christine here. Hope you're well. So a couple of days ago I went to the local op shop and I found these four books which I thought I'll be able to use in my projects. So this first book, um, look at that cover. So this was a personal stamp exchange rubber stamp collection. Uh, looks like it's kind of catalogue. I haven't seen one before. Um, 1998 so it's quite an old book PSX personal stamp exchange customer over years so it must have been some kind of catalog that you could order and um, and it's got all the stamps and the names of the stamps so this is definitely something that I don't know if it's still going. Um, I'll have to Google that and find out if this is still going. But um, it's gorgeous. These will be easy to um, either use as black and white or colour them in as well. And just use them as cutouts. Look at that beautiful lilac. So I can definitely use these. See, they've even used watercolour on these. So that's a nice idea as well. Paints. I haven't actually done anything with paints yet. So that's something new. And just with the inks. Those ink pens would work well with these. I even got ideas of how to lay them. See, that's really gorgeous with the daffodil. Oh, look at that Queen Queen Anne's lace. That's beautiful. They're gorgeous stamps. I definitely will Google that and see if they still sell. I um accidentally came across this in the bookshelf in the op shop so it's definitely something to look out for maybe in op shops near you um, different catalogues craft catalogues they definitely have lots of ideas as well as you know cutouts that you can use and color in so it looks great oh look at that on the pot that's beautiful. Even stamped on material. I've seen um, some ladies actually print on material through their printer, which I'm going to give it a go. I haven't done that yet. So even this is gorgeous. Put it on a bit of paper and colour in some of it and um, that's fabulous. Looks great. Look at those birds. Beautiful. very whimsical <laughs> it's gorgeous and just with the idea see this has even got like glitter around the edge looks beautiful I think I might need to um, invest in some of those those brush pens that I've been seeing them out for a while now. 
I think Copix is one of them, but I don't know if anyone um, has used them that have subscribed to my channel. Um, let me know in the comments if you've used those um, brush pens. I think that's what they're called. I know Copix do them because I've seen that. I'd love to hear from you as your experience with them and whether that's something new that I can... Um, well, I know it definitely is something new that I can take up. Look at this here. That is absolutely gorgeous. Love that. That's that wave there. How beautiful is that? such a variety of different stamps I've actually got a good little collection of my own stamps going but um, I've sort of tended to use them only as black and whites but I might need to take that a step further so even like this where it's mostly black and white but they've added a bit of color it looks fabulous These words that I can cut out as well. Oh, Noah's Ark. That's so cute. Happy birthdays. different events now and this is definitely like Valentine and hearts and so even with the bossing years and years ago I um, did some in, um, embossing with that embossing powder and the heat and um, loved it but over time I gave all that um, card making away and um, wasn't really crafting for years and years but um, now I'm gradually, because I'm junk journaling and doing paper crafts and that, I'm gradually getting all my stock back up again. But some embossing powder would be really good to add a different dimension to my craft. Oh, teddy bears. That's so cute. This will actually, even if I want to draw, do some drawing of my own, and these um, can help me do some drawings as well. Let's see if I can get into drawing fish, sea and mermaid shells. Oh, that's a fabulous book. So many themes in this too that um, are great for ideas for journal themes. Oh, can you imagine a junk journal on dogs? How good would that be? Oh, dash hound. My daughter's got a dash hound. Her name's Ruby. She's so cute. Bit of Easter theme. It's fabulous. This is such a great ideas book as well. So looks like they sold other things. 
maybe it was a bit like um, that other stamping place. I can't remember what it's called. Creative something. Yeah, I can't remember. Christmas that's beautiful but this has got lots of ideas not only can I use cut the images out um, I can definitely use some of the ideas and theme ideas for junk journals so that's great that's actually a great book that cost me a dollar that one look at the back here oh PSX rubber stamping memories Maybe it's a US company. Yeah. Oh yeah, California. So I wonder if they're still around. So this next book is a song book. Must be from a Casio electric organ or something, piano. And um, so I got this because I use a lot of music in my collaging so that's going to be handy and it was quite um, very thin paper so it's going to be quite nice using it actually it's even got just lines out at the back there so that's going to be handy that cost me a dollar this one cost me a dollar which I thought was absolutely fabulous I can actually take that cover off So this is Discovering the Wildflowers of Western Australia. So, And these pictures are absolutely beautiful. Look at that. So these are wildflowers of Western Australia, where I live. And they're absolutely stunning. only thing that's double-sided so I definitely have to make a decision of what one I would want <laughs> beautiful it's interesting how many the color range of our wildflowers tend to be all have touches of pink through that I hadn't noticed that before I mean you get the odd color blue and red but there's pink and yellow beautiful Oh, the black kangaroo paw is such a gorgeous plant. I live in the south of Western Australia and I get, there's a lot of forests and bush land state forests down here. And um, the wildflowers are absolutely stunning. Dirt Desert Pea, as a young child when I was coming, th going through primary school, I used to draw these a lot in my assignments when we had to do wildflowers assignments at school. I always did the Sturt Desert Pea, they were easy to draw. Paper is quite thick, it's almost like card, it's quite amazing. Everlasting, they are stunning. Um, they're very paper-like and almost like dried flowers. They're beautiful. It's 
it's going to be hard to use this book. I might hold on to it for a while, <laughs> as I tend to do. Uh, so funny. Oh, and some lined field notes. That's pretty good. All right. So that was a dollar for that book as well. And then this one. This one caught my eye straight away. This was the first one I picked up. A home of my own. Handy hints, hints and images from domestic life in Australia in the 1940s and 1950s. This cost me a dollar as well. And I just love all the pictures. So it looks like it was actually put out by the museum, Victoria Museum. For couples starting out in the early 1940s in Australia, the times held both excitement and fear. Mm. Our hopes and enthusiasm for life were tempered by the growing realisation of the horrors of the war and the nearness of it to our own shores. <laughs> Judge a woman by the way she washes her hair. There you go. I love these old newspaper clippings. It's great. Absolutely fabulous. I think this is going to be another book that I might hold on to for a bit because I just don't want to use it. I love these old pictures. It must be when Masonite came out. Uh, combination washer. Washes clothes, washes dishes. That's all right. I didn't know we've had one of those. Auto magic washer. That's pretty amazing. And this is a um, must be from a newspaper, and it was advice, please. Mr. K. L. S. Chernside, Queensland. Question: I would like advice for furnishing and painting my lounge room. The room is not large, and we have three doorways opening off it. At the moment, there are two gossip chairs and an old armchair that needs recovering. The walls are fibrous plaster painted cream with white ceilings. My wife and I favour small lounge suites with wooden arms. We intend to have an imitation fireplace. We have an old fashioned sideboard which we might replace with a modern cocktail cabinet. On the floor there is an attractive um, lino, linoleum, well it's a bit like lino, which mainly features red and the the person that writes this article puts this answer with regard to your painting problem i suggest you have three walls painted a soft pearl gray and the fireplace wall painted with a striped or featured design featuring grays lime yellow and red the ceiling could be a deeper gray than the walls perhaps you could Cover an armchair in a lime yellow fabric and the other in a terracotta. One chair could be covered in a striped material showing the wallpaper colours. A rug, preferably grey, would help things somewhat. A divan or even a love seat covered in grey, sailcloth or heavy cotton would be smart. You could group two chairs around a low coffee table with a standard lamp 
by the side of one of the easy chairs. This type of grouping unifies a room. Good grouping depends to, depends to a large extent on a central point and once you have your new pieces, I'm sure you will have no trouble at all. Curtains could be a grey and yellow stripe. It is a good idea to replace the old fashioned sideboard with a modern cocktail ca uh, cabinet. That is so cute. I wonder if he actually took the instructions and went ahead with them. Oh, look at the Hoover vacuum cleaner. The old TV. Oh, looking good. This will be good. Jemmy, Jemmy Perfume, I think that's how it's pronounced. Silky Soft Curls Without Frizz. <laughs> At last, a permanently pleated skirt that washes. Love it. I love all this kind of old paper clippings and history. Bottling fruit in the lounge. <laughs> I've actually got one of these out in the shed. That's amazing. old fridge. Mum and Dad used to have one of these old fridges. The toaster and the radio. Ah, so this was Electrolux. This was a built-in little fridge that you built into your kitchen. Model food budget and menu plans. This is a menu plan for one week, including packed lunches. That's interesting. So Sunday breakfast, wheat flakes sprinkled with wheat germ, bacon and tomatoes, toast and marmalade, tea or coffee for adults, milk or cocoa for children. And dinner, veal and potato casserole with peas, Baked apples, black coffee and water. And for tea that night, slices, braised pocket steak, cold from Saturday, salad of lettuce, peas, carrots, jelly scones and syrup, cake, tea for adults and milk for children. It's interesting that on Sunday it's breakfast, dinner and tea and then during the week it's breakfast, lunch and dinner. So on Sunday they had their dinner at lunchtime which fits in with what mum, mum and dad used to do. We'd have a roast. That's where the Sunday roast came in for us when I was growing up. So that would be classed as a dinner. Yeah. And Saturday as well. Um, Saturday is breakfast, lunch and tea. Oh, that was brain souffle. I don't think I could eat that. It's a bit weird. But there's people that like brain so Mum used to cook um, cow tongue and I used to love that. So just depends on what you brought up with, I guess. Isn't that great? That's amazing. After the show, it's OXO for me. 
<laughs> I actually use Oxo in my cooking, but I hadn't thought of drinking it. I guess it's just like a a broth, really, for a hot drink. Baby boom. Isn't that amazing? So cute. Oh, Hills Hoist. I remember making these two chocolate crackles. Oh my gosh, look how they're cutting the hair. So they're using scotch tape and they've put the tape on and then they're using that as the straight line. Fix fringe to forehead with scotch tape and cut across top of tape. Fringe cut straight, hair trimmings stick to tape. Don't fall in eyes. Oh, that's why they do it. Scotch brand cellulose tape is your handiest household helper. Dettol. Has your child got worms? Ah, that's why they put Dettol in the bath. Yeah. Yeah, bath time should be protection time. Soap and water is not always enough, especially with school children. A little Dettol in the bath water is most refreshing. And of course, fragrant Dettol is harmless to everything but germs. The man of the house. Unscrew the hooks from wooden coat hangers and slip on empty cotton reels. This prevents rust from the hooks staining your husband's shirts, the coat of his best perhaps only suit and your own precious frocks. Love that idea. Some great little ideas here. It pays to have a man around the house. When my man came home, we still had an ice chest, but with some of his demob money, I'm not sure what that is, he bought me a fridge. I've never been so happy. However, he's kept the chest in his shed. When he has a good catch of fish, he keeps it out there. The ice man calls weekly because neighbors still have chests. Interesting. Some of these little handyman um, ideas here are, are really cute. If your husband is a handyman, get him to knock out the sides of that old kitchen cupboard you were given and substitute fine gauze. Provisions will not get musty if plenty of air circulates freely. I've actually got an old kitchenette which has got um, like a fly screen metal bit something looks looks like this on the sides here's another one lino makes a good serviceable top for kitchen benches cut to measure and glue on firmly <laughs> i'll have to read this book in um in more detail Do not starch shirt cuffs if they are to be worn under cardigans. 
stiffened linen will cut into the wool fabric, making the frequent repairs necessary. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> Oh, this is funny. I thought my shirt was white until I saw Bob's Purcell white shirt. And Purcell is a washing, must be a washing powder. And it's a whitener. And they're comparing shirts. <laughs> it's really cute. Out and about. This is a hint for campers and hikers. Use green bottle brush pods for cleaning saucepans or tins. Dampen saucepans with water and a little sandy dirt to remove the worst inside and out. Then wash as usual. Green pods are nature's own still wool for campers. That's interesting. I have to remember that. That's really good. I love that book. Precious Minutes. Just got all these handy hints. Um, through. If your vacuum cleaner has a spray painting attachment, use it to spray on liquid floor polish. Easier than applying with a cloth. picture here that's so sweet I don't think I would get up on the roof and paint the roof cloths for washing windows will not drop from your hands when you're at the top of a ladder, if you cut a double slit in the center of the cloth and insert one finger through it, it will save you many ups and downs on the ladder. That's actually a very good idea. To remove salt from soup, if soup has been made too salty, add a few slices of raw potato and cook for five minutes longer. Remove the potato, which will have absorbed much of that salt. That's a great idea. But I tend to always put potatoes in my soup anyway and then mash it up or leave it chunky. Depends on what type of soup I'm using. To clean stainless steel sinks, rub with dry flour. When putting an arm into a sling and bandages, always see that the thumb is facing the nose. Hmm, that's interesting. So that's the end of the book. Ah, oh, Jaffers. I love Jaffers. That's, that's a great book. I need to read that over again and read all those little, all these little hints. So... Yeah, that's great. So that was a great haul. That cost me $4, $1 each for those books. And um, that was definitely worth it. I've actually got a lot there that I can use. I can even, like, use these hints. I can actually write these hints down um, and add them into journals um, if they relate to a certain theme that I'm doing. So... But, um, yeah, that was really great. That was a good um, op shop haul. So thank you so much for watching and listening to me um, read those hints and go through these books. 
and um, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Stay safe and well. Bye.